Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and uh, this is a video I'm actually very passionate uh, about and I'm looking forward to your, uh, to your comments. I wanted to talk about the biggest challenges in implementing risk management. Because this is real. I mean, I, I talk about risk management too, and I've been quite successful in implementing risk management too in, in organizations in the past, but my God, it's a challenge. Um, and, and I think the first message, it's important to realize that you know, thinking about risks is not really natural for humans. And uh, thinking about risks while operating a business is even more unnatural. So we, we're really swimming against the current. Uh, most of the time and so the biggest challenges and by the way this is kind of this is a free-for-all so you know do comment in the um, in the comments below the, this video and by the way don't forget to subscribe and like um, and share this video if you agree with the, with, with the message uh, but the biggest challenges for me and this is just something that comes to mind uh, because there are many 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 more that other organizations and you may be facing so the biggest challenge for me is in my experience, in my world, risk management too, is about pausing before making a decision and taking extra effort trying to identify and sometimes even quantify how different uncertainties and risks affect the choices and trying to kind of rebalance the options, the alternatives to then compare you know, risk adjusted option A versus risk adjusted option B versus risk adjusted option C and it takes effort. It takes a lot of effort, both uh, from the decision makers. They have to be, they have to have the courage to delay the decision and not make it on the spot. They have to take the effort to make time for the risk analysis, and uh, then um, for the risk manager to take time to conduct the risk analysis or create a methodology which allows the decision makers to conduct the risk analysis themselves. Uh, and that's that's even more difficult if the risk manager doesn't do the calculations but relies on the decision makers to do their own calculations based on the methodology that he created that's that's like challenge squared that suddenly escalates quite significantly so the biggest challenge in my experience the methodology is not difficult you know trying to figure out a way how to quantify the effect of different risks on the decision or objectives is not that complicated but finding the courage to pause and make conscious effort and more importantly request information and commitment and time from different people across the organization because sometimes you need some inputs from the procurement you need some inputs from the project team you need some inputs from the finance team it's basically getting at least five or six different people involved and spending allocating their time and resources to that extra bit of analysis so risk management is always that extra bit of analysis that takes effort it's not it's not simple takes effort uh, takes time and uh, is uh, quite complex uh, often so that's the biggest challenge in my experience having the people uh, who can commit to pausing before making decisions because our kind of our usual behavior is uh, make the decision with system system one thinking uh, because the choices seem obvious or the um, alternatives are blocked by cognitive biases and uh, we, we think we know what needs to what needs to be done or we have some sort of preferred route and we just want to steam ahead uh, so that's the biggest uh, that's the biggest challenge and then of course the second challenge which you know I've been fighting uh, for uh, for decades is finding the risk managers who can clearly understand the difference between uh, pseudoscience and quantitative risk analysis. So having finding risk managers to support the decision makers who may want to take the pause, but then uh, you have to give them something in return. You can't force everybody to delay a decision and then give them the heat map uh, that doesn't really change, challenge their initial assumptions, doesn't really provide them sufficient insight to completely change their approach um, uh, to, to decision making. So the second challenge is finding the risk managers who can support the executives who want to make an effort, who want to make decisions. Let me know what you think in the comments below. 
and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.